Happy Christmas. I'm Robin Sewell, and today I'm particularly happy because I get to talk about my favorite painting, The Nativity by Frederick Varley. Here it is, so monumental in size. It's 10 feet by 15 feet, and yet it has this wonderful intimacy about it. We look up and it says the word made flesh, and that's what we see here. Uh, in the background of the painting, there is the little golden grid work that references Byzantine mosaics and reminds us of the architecture of our church. But at either ends are two angels. And, and it's not the whole host praising God, it's just two of them. And their pink robes help them blend into the background so that our focus isn't on them. They're just there. Looking farther down, there we can see the mother and her child, and all eyes are on them. Again, it's a very intimate moment with the mother holding her baby, and look at baby Jesus. Is he using the keys to the kingdom as a teething toy? Maybe. <laughs> the gold disc-like halos really draw our eyes to these figures, and this is the big moment. But if we look around the edges, we can see the other characters in the story. There's an ox and a donkey, and there's, there's two shepherds. Now, if you look closely at the shepherd on the left, the quite handsome one, that's actually a self-portrait of Fred Varley himself. And people who knew him say that it is quite a good likeness. Now, he didn't put himself into this scene because he was conceited or wanted to be remembered. There is a long tradition of artists painting themselves into a religious scene as an act of devotion. And at this time of year, when we're setting out the little figures of our nativity scenes or looking at the pictures on our Christmas cards, wouldn't we like to imagine just for a moment that we're a part of the scene too, that we could be there to celebrate the birth of Jesus, the Word made flesh. It's a really special moment, and this picture helps us to feel it.